And I've tried several times to reach you, Judith, so please call me back. I'm in Los Angeles, and you know the number. I, I look forward to hearing from you. I want to talk to you. Okay. About the therapy. Okay. I'm having second thoughts. Second thoughts, huh? Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. What is that? I don't know. What's the problem? No return address. Is there a note? Uh, yeah. No signature. Okay, but what does it say? It says what you desire. Is this a joke? Well, I didn't send it. Of course you didn't, but who the hell did? Don't ask me. I don't, I'll call the company. Is there something you want to tell me? No, absolutely not. Okay, fine, whatever. But I'm telling you this. I want us out of the therapy. Why, well, you don't think? I don't know what to think, but I want that woman out of our lives. You're breaking your commitment to therapy. It hasn't worked for me. Well, you refuse to open up. But your need is bottomless. You're in flight. My needs are not bottomless. You're running away, Susan. No, I'm not. You are, but at the same time. You want my love. This is Val. You want my love. And you're willing to undermine Bob in order to win in my eyes. I don't even know what you're talking about. I have to get on a plane to San Francisco tomorrow, so I'm going to go now. Oh, to San Francisco? I am leaving, and I am not coming back. That is why I came here. Well, aren't you concerned about Bob and Louise being alone together while you run off to San Francisco? Because you are a morass of hungers and impulses, and you just jump into therapy, and just as quickly, you just jump right out. Because you are got to go. you got to go off to San Francisco. Oh, not even a care about the chaos that you leave in your wake. You think that you don't need me? I think you're the one who needs help. You need me. <laughs> oh, Susan, you need me. You need me, Susan. You need me. Oh. I hope I lose my mind. I hope I go crazy and hallucinate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Wow. <laughs> Hold it in. Don't breathe. <laughs> Your mom smokes pot. <laughs> She's scared, I'll find out. Well, you know what? My mother's scared of doors. <laughs> My mother's scared of buttons. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> My mother, My mother is scared of the word mucus. <laughs> My mother's scared of the word party. Oh, that's so wrong. Oh, I'm starving. What sort of pizza? time, Judith. Two years, seven months, nine days. I assume there's a reason you hunted me down? Well, I wanted to talk to you. Oh. Talk. I hate talk. Look, no one even knew that you resumed your practice. Why should they? 
And why shouldn't I? Judith, please don't play childish word games. You don't like word games, Dr. Kingsley? Judith? They stole. No, you stole my livelihood. I was framed. I understand how you felt, but I did everything that I could. No. Perhaps I could have no. done more, but no. nonetheless. I, I, I did. I did everything for Benjamin Price. I did everything. I did more than any therapist on earth would have done for him. No other ethical therapist, in the opinion of the licensing board. Look, Judith, it's not too late. You still have a chance to redeem yourself to appeal, and I will support you in that. Oh, God, spare me the lecture, Dr. Kingsley. Look, you don't even have a license to practice. It's California. Nobody here cares about licenses. Judith, you're making a mockery of me. Bingo! Look, you were always a challenge, but I had hoped that you'd make more progress, that you'd dismantled some of those self-destructive impulses. I think you need to return to therapy. I think I need more treatment. Well, we weren't finished when you left. So you came here to rescue me? Is that what you did? Well, it's so kind. Oh, Dr. Kingsley, that is so, so dedicated. If you return to New York, we can complete your therapy there. Well, then why wait? Let's do it right here, right now. Let's go, Dr. Kingsley. you expect when you violate all the tenets of neutrality when you follow me like an animal when you hunt me down when you violate my privacy i am such an interesting subject to you am i not dr kingsley flattering yourself that i need you i don't need you i don't ask yourself this why are you here why are you crossing boundaries yet again, Dr. Kingsley? Everything I learned, I learned from you, except that when I needed you, you abandoned me. Bingo! 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 Judy! you'd never answer. Sorry, I was stumped on a crossword clue. And I have to go in like two minutes. I have dinner with Ronald. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, I mean, how'd, how'd it go? How'd the whole thing go? The furniture was beautiful, but I'd have to commute. Anyway, can I say hi to Louise? Um, no. I, uh, told Louise she could spend the night at Zoe's. Um, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. I'm doing a crossword, going to eat some pizza, probably look at pictures of cars I can't buy on the internet. I love you. I love you. Susan here? No, no, actually. No, she's not. She's in San Francisco. San Francisco? Yeah. Back tomorrow. I'm sorry. Would you like to come in? <laughs> yeah, I just want to 
light a light bulb just like the snap and fly bike with um E T D, you know, like A B what? C D. What do you say? J K L M N O P Q T P. You wanna watch E, e T? No. Oh, I wanna fly a bike with E T. You know? You wanna know something sad? Mm. So if I were to find an alien, I'd kill it. Don't even look at me. That's I'm looking. Louise. Louise? She's staying over at a friend's house tonight. Oh. Slumber party. That's right. Yeah. Please, sit down. You know, as much as I was hoping to see all three of you, I'm actually quite happy that it's just you. Oh, yeah? How's that? Why do you look so scared, Bob? I'm not scared. I, uh... It's just, you know, it's unusual when your therapist drops by your house. Yes, it is very unorthodox. I will grant you that. Do you want me to leave? No, I'm not. I don't want to be rude. I, uh, no. Come sit. I've received some just very devastating news. I have to leave LA. I have to leave, and I don't expect to come back. I don't have a lot of time. And I feel like we have some unfinished business, you and I. Do you? Have you two been smoking marijuana? <laughs> it looks like you two have been smoking marijuana. <laughs> All right, we are taking Louise home right now. Now just allow yourself to relax and drop in to this present. A moment. A moment where you can remember who you are. Do you remember who you are? I don't know. I don't know. If I told you you're a man. Mm. You're a man, right? needs lots and lots of needs but no one hears those needs when those needs aren't met a man can forget himself did you forget yourself Bob what if I told you
Don't tell your mom that I yelled at you. I want to remain in our social circle. You don't want to be shunned. I love you. Love you. Okay, hey, we'll say goodbye because you're never going to see your friend again. That's how it works. There's some echoing friends. Like, you're not going to be laughing. Please come inside. Go away! It's cold out here. Leave me alone! Go! Uh. <sighs> uh. It feels so good to be home. Yeah, we're very happy to have you home. That guy was such a jerk. Oh my god, it was embarrassing. <sighs> Sweetie, are you all right? Do you want to come out from underneath that hoodie and tell me what happened? Because I can tell that something happened. Is somebody dead? Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? I came home last night and Bob was on the couch with Judy Small and it was really, really gross. Uh, Judy Small, the therapist was in our house? Naked and they were on the couch doing stuff and he was wearing a mask. First of all, let me just say that, that I'm sorry and no one was naked. I let, I let something terrible happen, but. How can there be a but? I mean, in front of Louise? Louise, sweetheart, please go to your room. Susan, as God is my witness, the woman, the woman came here to seduce me. And you're gonna tell me? I'm not pleading innocence. trying to tell you that under the circumstances, the mistake, the very egregious and indefensible mistake was, it was very difficult to resist. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Susan, you don't need to... I swear to God I'll do it when you're sleeping. I'm gonna stab you in the heart with a meat thermometer. I'm gonna cut off your balls with a corkscrew. Susie, you don't have to be reacting just this way. Get just get out of here. I want you out now. Please. Get out. Please, just go. I don't want to see your face. Go. Get out.
the day. Bob, what a splendid surprise. Oh, sorry, I tried to call your cell and then your home number wasn't listed. Oh. I didn't know how else to find you. You've been very busy packing, making arrangements. Have a seat. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> I came here today to ask you to talk to Susan for me and um, maybe just explain things to her. so scared, cornered, misunderstood. No, I love my wife. And I don't want to lose her. Of course you don't. So you please, you please just talk to her and just tell her that this whole thing was insane. Insane? Yes. I would do almost anything for you, so yeah. Okay, I could talk to Susan. I could tell her, um, I could tell her that it wasn't you who undressed me, but it was I who undressed you, and you didn't take me. But I, who hoped in the course of one reckless erotic journey. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, just enough with the flagellation over a lousy blow job, please. It's insulting. Seriously. You need to relax, Bob. Let's do this. Let's do a calming exercise. I'm not nervous, I'm not exhausted. Just a nice breathing exercise. Can you do that for me? Please, please, Judy, will you just talk to Susan? I will talk to Susan if you promise me that you're gonna do this for me, okay? You're gonna be a good boy. Yeah, I will do anything you want. Okay, you're gonna count from 10 down to one, okay? 10. 10. Nine. listening to me there's no more money it's all gone everything nikki invested every single penny of our money with that lying bitch and she just cut and ran what are you doing here i live here remember oh god don't remind me i just spent 200 dollars. money we don't have unblocking my energy one word from him money down the drain i guess roxy told you the bad news don't talk, okay? Just don't make a sound. How's Bob? I don't know. I don't care. I heard there's some weird shit going down at his place. Some kind of slash and burn. Why are you here? Why are you out looking for a job? What about our babies? Yeah, actually, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. You cannot afford a tattoo. You cannot afford to take a shit on the ground that you're standing on. I can shit anywhere I like. I hate him. I really fucking hate him. I hate his guts. I hate them. I hate him. I hate them all. How many tranquilizers do you need? Oh, take as many as you can spare. Oh, honey, I got plenty. Oh. Nick is gonna find a job, sweetie. He is. Susan, he's a writer. The fuck can a writer do?
that something bad happened. I mean, he's dumb, but he's not that dumb. Like, if he were okay, he'd call. Maybe you should call him. Why? He's your husband. It would be such a human gesture, a forgiving thing, considering the fact that even as inadequate as he is, he loves you. <sighs> That you got into an accident. Hello? It's Louise. Is Bob there? Well, do you know where he is? Never? Okay, bye. Never showed up at work. Even though he had a meeting with a writer from Alaska. Something's definitely wrong. So much is wrong. I don't no, where? He, he, he could be in jail or leading to death somewhere. Please. Or else he could have a heart attack. Don't say that. I'm sorry. I can tell you're already freaking out. I'm not freaking out. I'm just a little tired. I think we're better off facing the truth. I'm having a very painful sensation. What? I still love Bob. Oh my god, I thought that's why you married him. It's crazy how easy it is to forget how much someone means to you. Even if they've been a complete reptile. All their fuck up so long. Oh, baby, if anything ever happened to you, I don't know if I know. No, I'm not now. Okay. <sighs> That she would have something to do with Judy Small. Judy Small. Judy Small. Judy. haven't heard from him in 24 hours, we just have to come back. Well, that's dumb. But tomorrow's too late. Judy. Can't make you a little cozier. Can you help me out here, babe? Judy. 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 What? What? You can't do this. Judy. Uh, do this. You can't keep me prisoner. Get it straight. I'm leaving tonight, and you're coming with me. Maybe he's glad to be rid of me. He's not. Saw them naked on that couch. Please. All naked and curled up like two white dogs. Mom, you're gonna blow it! <laughs> I think I'm blowing it. No, you're not. Do it. <laughs> Susan and I came to you because we needed your help. Every child wants a grown up who will pretend. So I'm gonna tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drive, and then we're going to fly, and then we're going to head towards water because I see a white sail against just the most ethereal blue sky. Mom, we need to go now to Judy Small's office. Hold my hand. Hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Thank you. I know the fires of need. I know the truth. I know the truth. But Dr. King really says, human beings suffer from reminiscences, Judith. You, you suffer from nothing. Somewhere, there's a human life for you. Judy, I love my wife. And yet, I pretend you love me. And you must pretend the same. Uh, we should break down the door. Yes, we need something. We need.
need like a, uh, uh, like a hammer or something. Quick, go that guy. Okay, Leo, help. Mom, money. You don't need money! Okay. Bob! <laughs> Shoot it! Six. We need to jump the squad right away. Judy! Oh, what are you doing? You shouldn't be up here. Okay. Stand I know down. her. I know her. It's okay. It's okay. She's my therapist. Judy! Judy! Hey! This isn't you. No, come on. Come on, Judy, you don't do this. Judy Small doesn't do this. No, you don't. Let me help you now. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Going home. Uh, um, I have bad news. What? I got fired. How can they fire you? You have contract. I know. I know. They're gonna buy me out for 30 cents on the dollar. Well, what happened? Uh, there was this thing with, uh, with Reed and Walter. And I didn't tell you about it because I wanted to wait until it was done so I could come to you and say, here it is, here's the new deal, here's the big money, here's the new salary. And uh, Beaver found out about it and told us to pack our bags. Look, Susan, I know how bad this looks, but I'm gonna find another job. You don't have to worry. You've been fired. And we have no income to speak of, and almost no savings. But... At least we have each other. Shh.
that meat. Oh god, it's so gross. <sighs> they barely even talk to each other. Ew. Aren't married people supposed to do it at night? I'm starving. Me too. <sighs> Thank you. 